what does family mean to you? Family means having someone to love you unconditionally. In spite of you and your shortcomings, family is loving and supporting one another even when it's not easy to do so. Family doesn't see color, race, creed, not culture. It sees heart. Family isn't always about being connected biologically. Family is unrelenting. It's secure and reliable. At some point or another, you may have used this familiar phrase, blood is thicker than water. The context in which we use it is to describe the meaning that blood-related families are more important than anyone else. But it doesn't always work that way. We cannot deny the fact that blood relationships are not immune from lies, deceits, denials, betrayals, dishonesty, and jealousy. These things exist in some families between siblings and even between children and parents, apparently. Some issues are resolved in just a matter of time. Some takes too much time. And some just run out of time. What I mean is, for some, not even sickness nor death could change their minds. They are not willing to forgive and make amends. They go to their graves still harboring anger, hatred, and pains toward their family members. And that is heartbreaking to see. Experiencing these things could cause discord and disunity. According to Adventist Home, the secret of family unity, the cause of division and discord in families and in the church is separation from Christ. To come near to Christ is to come near to one another. The secret of true unity in the church and in the family is not diplomacy, not management, not a superhuman effort to overcome difficulties, but union with Christ. Yes, we are created differently and uniquely from each other. That's a fact, but it's not a valid excuse not to get along with each other. We could still be united, though our opinions are divided. We could still exercise unity despite diversity. We could still practice oneness despite our differences. Not even adversity can ruin unity, nor weaknesses break togetherness. As long as we let the love of Jesus rules and reigns in our families, bearing one another and forgiving one another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. Because how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Can you still remember this good old children's song? When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Being a happy family does not mean perfection because you cannot always connect perfectness with happiness. It simply means that we could still experience happiness amidst trials and weaknesses if Jesus is in our midst. Adventist Home further said, the sweetest type of heaven is a home where the Spirit of the Lord presides. But the question is, is Jesus in our homes? Is He part of our family? Friends, love and respect your family because they are the ones who stick and stay with you when everyone decides to leave and forsake you. Michael J. Fox said, Family is not an important thing. It's everything. This is Delfred reminding you to take the Bible as your weapon of choice and keep the faith. And if God is with us, who can be against us? This is Take the Talk.